hello here in this video i will create a website like this one so here the clients and the freelancers can sign up to the platform and the clients can hire any expert or they can also submit a job like this so the freelancers will be able to send their proposal on the job so here you can see so here the freelancers can apply to this job by filling this form they can also use these boosted options and submit their proposal and then the freelancers will be able to post their services or gigs like this just like on fiverr and then we have one extra feature as well where the employers can purchase a plan and can submit jobs so we can also provide like free plans and like on fiverr it is completely free but on this platform they the employers have to purchase a plan before they post a job and we can also create plans for freelancers so they have to buy the plan first and then they can apply to jobs and post their services so this will be the result of this video okay so to create a website like this i am going to use wordpress so if you if you want to create a website you will have to buy a web hosting and i will recommend you to use bluehost because i i think they are the best ones and this should be your first choice you can get their one year plan for only like 33 dollars so it's uh, i think it's completely fair enough and then we have a few other web hostings as well i will provide the link in the description if you want to buy this web hosting you can just uh, go to the bluehost website i will provide the link in description then you will have to click this get started button and then here you can see their plans you can select any of them this one is the most reasonable but i will recommend you to go with this plan because here you have more space and you can host unlimited websites so you can select this one and then you have to purchase a domain name or if you have already a domain name you can use that so let me search for a domain name next so the domain is available and now we have to fill this form and then here is the pricing uh, like it will be 65 dollars and we can also remove this one the total price will be like 65 dollar and you have saved 70 percent if you come from the link so now you can just add your card and the payment will go through if you need a uh, cheaper then you can go for the first plan of bluehost or maybe name cheaper hostinger so that ones are good as well i will provide all of these link in the description and now let's move to the website when you will get the web hosting you will find this wordpress and let me show you how wordpress look like so this is the dashboard of the website so from here we can create new pages we can add new images and videos we can extend the functionalities we can install themes and for to create a website like fiverr you have to get a theme so the theme we are going to use in this video is exaltio freelance marketplace wordpress theme so the theme cost is 79 dollars you can get this theme if you want to create a website like fiverr it will extend the functionalities of the website and it will help you create a freelance marketplace that has more functionalities than fiverr okay so now go back to your wordpress dashboard and now we have to install this theme so once you will purchase the theme you will get a file okay you will get a zip file 
now to install that you have to go to appearance themes click add new upload theme so here is the folder that i got i have extracted the folder and now here you can see all of its all of its file and now we have to click on this file we have to upload this install now so this will take some time so let's fast forward this video so the theme is now installed we can click on activate so here you can see we have the theme installed now so if we go back to the website you will see some changes in the website so now go back to the website and now we can go to plugins and let's delete all of the plugin that you have currently installed because we don't need them let's clean up the website okay so now go to appearance and go to install plugins mark them all mark all of them click on install apply so all of the plugins are installed go to plugins installer again now mark again all of them and click on activate so the plugins are activated return to the dashboard so just close this setup and here you can see loads of new option that just arrived in our dashboard so now go back to plugins and here you can see all of the plugins are now installed so now let's go back to website and refresh okay so now you can again see some of the changes in your website now go back to website and now we have to go to tools and available tools sorry we have to go to import and here you can see some new options and here we can click on install now on wordpress because we want to import the content like this theme like i showed you in the video earlier so go back to dashboard and run importer and now we have to upload a file here choose file and now in the theme in the theme zip file that you downloaded from theme forest you have to go to demo data and content xml you have to upload this file here open update tick mark this submit so here you can see we have got a request timeout error so if this error comes up in your website go back to your wordpress and click on updates and reinstall version of the wordpress again so the wordpress is again installed just go back to your website so just go back to tools and import run importer 
and upload the file again so if just that error comes up on your website just update your wordpress and upload the file again and now it should upload scroll down tick mark again submit so here now you can see the demo content is uploaded once the import is done now you have to go to your theme theme options scroll down click on import export upload file here under demo data you have to click on you have to upload this file theme options and click on import so this file is imported as well now we have to install a new plugin so that's the plugin this one so install this plugin activate and now we have to upload the widgets go to tools widget importer now click on this copy and paste and go back to the folder copy the content paste the content import widget so this is imported as well so now all the pages are imported as you can see all the import pages are imported now so now we have to go to settings general and here we can change your website name save changes and now go to writing or reading and here select a static page you can select any of these home page the one you like so let's select the first one and here select the blog page and save changes now go to your website and here you can see the website is almost created so we just have to create the menu and add it over here so for that we have to go back to website and then we have to go to appearance menus so here we have to create a menu here we can all the add all the important pages that we want to show in the menu click on view all home blog about contact us and maybe these packages or maybe we can just show the employee package so here's the employee package page so save changes first of all we have to add to menu and then we can click on save changes we can remove this one from the name save changes
so you can see the website is now completed now if we want to change any content on the pages or we want to con add some content into pages we can click on this edit with elementor page and here we can edit the content if we want so here like you can see the content over here and if you want to change it you can just exchange this or replace this text over here and it will be updated on the website once you have made all the changes you can click on update so that's how you can edit all of the pages of your website so now if you want me to create a video on how to use these functions and how to use this freelance marketplace you can let me know in the comment section it's actually very easy and you can try these functions and you will understand everything like here we can add new pro projects and we can add new services we can add new employer we can add new freelancer and on from the front end the employers and freelancers can also create account as you know currently we have uh, like we have admin account login so that's why it's showing like this if we copy this link and open it in a new tab so here's an incognito tab we can see how it will show to the users so the user will be able to register their account or they can sign into your into their account so if we click on register for example we can see that the here are the sign up form where the users can register so that's how this system will work and if you want me to create a video on how to use this platform you can let me know i will create a complete video so that it will be helpful for you so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any question just let me know in the comment section